Good morning, Lauren. It's Thursday. This is Vlogalodeon. Today, I had no school, which was kind of weird. I slept in. I woke up and it was like 8.10 and I was like, oops, I'm late for first period. Might as well not go. And then my teacher for second period wasn't there. And then third period, I have a free period. So then I got dressed at like one o'clock, went to school and found out that my teacher for fourth period was not even there. So I had to walk all the way back. Kind of pissed off about that. So Lauren, I want to thank you for doing your punishments. I especially like the one where you swallowed the hair. I watched it twice. It made me laugh. So thank you for doing that. I will send you the posters probably today, but they won't be arriving to you for a little while because the fucking mail people are super slow. I ordered something from an online store and they shipped it on the 20th and it's still not here. It's been 13 days and I'm going crazy. Primarily because my this star will go out bracelet broke. That was my fault. It wasn't the bracelet's fault. My wrist is naked. Ah! So I didn't want to spend all of today's video complaining about my freaking life. So I decided to review all of the books that I read in September. I read, I think, three books this summer which is pathetic. This is in like no particular order because I can't be bothered. So I read 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and it was really weird because I didn't like it that much but there was just something about it that was like you have to keep reading the book. You have to keep reading the book. Like I don't know why. Like I didn't like it but I, I couldn't stop. It was weird and then in the end I liked it. Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan. I read the first 60 pages in one day because we had a power outage at work and they were like you can just stick around and do whatever and I was like okay and it was really good and I liked it. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky or something like that. I read this book because the movie's coming out and I have this thing where I have to read the book before I can see the movie, which is why I haven't seen The Hunger Games yet because I can't, I can't, I can't be bothered to read The Hunger Games. I read the first paragraph like three times and it, 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 it um, no. And I didn't really like this book either. For one thing, it, the book takes place in like 1991, so there's a huge disconnect between my life as a teenager and this guy's life as a teenager. And I felt like it showed introverts in like the wrong way, like it didn't show it as something that's good. It showed it as like this look at this guy is an introvert and he has all these problems. He was also really really naive. Like he didn't know what anything was. He's like 15, 16 in the book and he knows nothing. Like Lauren, you're 12. You know so much more than this guy. This guy knows nothing. Revived by Cat Patrick because I really liked her first book, Forgotten. I, 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 I love this one too. I don't know if I loved it more, but I, I definitely loved it at least as much. Every day by David Levithan. I read the last 300 pages of this book and one day because I just I couldn't put it down and it was just it was it was it was so so good it was oh my god and then where she went by Gail Foreman and this is the sequel to if I stay which I read years and years ago so I didn't know if I would like this as I was reading the story from the last book came back to me and I was like oh yeah this happened and this happened okay now I remember I also read the stranger by Albert Camus or how I liked it better when I understood it so Lauren your last video was over four minutes I don't know if you understand but the limit is four minutes if it's over four minutes you have to cut down your video and I don't freaking care how you do it. You just, it's it, it, four minutes, four minutes. I'm not gonna send you the posters until I get my package from online, which I don't know when it's gonna come. It might come today, it might come tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm gonna send it then. That way we can both be freaking frustrated. So goodbye, Lauren. I will see you on Monday. <sighs> Hopefully by then I will have the stupid package come in the mail. I want you to be frustrated. Also, I couldn't be bothered to put on my tripod, so I just used a bunch of books. Uh, most of these are books that I want to read this year, except for that one, which I've already read, and Twilight, which I only put there because they're really big books.